when we talk about environmental toxins, and we're all different, we all you know, live in, in different areas, but generally speaking, what is the greatest exposure that we, we face on, on average, I guess? Wow, it's, I think the greatest exposure is the fact that we get exposed to multiple small amounts of different toxins. Mm. Uh, there's something called a noel, which is no effect, observed effect on, the, on that organism. And it's a very low amount. But when they start adding them up, they find out that it doesn't, it's not cumulative, it's sometimes logarithmic. That three toxins, you don't add up their risk together, you just multiply them. And then you find out that those three can cause some real serious issues. And right now the evidence is saying that we have about 200 different chemicals in our bodies at any given moment, anywhere we live in this world. And that's significant. And when we start looking at that, and what are the effects? What kind of genes are we turning on that's never been turned on before? And most of these chemicals didn't exist 50 years ago. All right. Do you find that most people have really no idea how many toxins they come in contact with each day? When I go out to the public, they're stunned. When I talk at these conferences, they're not surprised, they're frustrated, because they know, and it's just, how do they tell the general population that we have this problem? The general population does not understand it, has, is clueless, and quite often goes into denial. They say, no, that's not possible. Even when you show them the evidence, then they want to shut it down. They don't want to talk to you anymore, because it depresses them. And, and I have to always be careful in my speeches not to depress people because the evidence is so scary that we do have a real major problem.